Yellowstone's steam pools are on the rise. Yellowstone's hot springs are being damaged by visitors throwing hats into the pools. Yellowstone steam pools draw crowds for their unique colors and geyser displays. But this year, park staff are also spending more time cleaning debris from the boiling water than ever before. What started as a mere drop from a lost souvenir and a few discarded coins has snowballed into a serious maintenance problem, with blown-off hats and accidentally dropped trash fundamentally altering the behavior of some hydrothermal features. Park scientists warn that debris doesn't just look bad in photos, it can alter temperatures, shift the microbial communities that give the pools their vibrant colors, and even alter the rhythm of eruptions. The latest cleanup figures from the U.S. Geological Survey show the scale of the problem is impossible to ignore. The park's hydrothermal basins, hot springs, geysers, and mud pots are incredibly fragile, driven by underground plumbing systems and a delicate balance of heat and chemistry. When foreign matter enters these systems, the consequences can range from obvious to permanent. Color changes. The microbial mats that color the pools, blue, green, orange, and red, are sensitive to the temperature and chemistry of the water. Inserting coins, plastic, or cloth can alter these conditions and the microbes living there. Temperature and flow changes. Debris can clog vents or alter water circulation, which can cool the pool, stop an eruption, or divert the flow to another vent. Long-term damage. Some changes occur slowly but persistently, meaning features that appear different today may never return to their previous state. Scientists point to Morning Glory Pool as a prime example. Once a deep, brilliant blue, the pool now displays a mix of colors after decades of silting. Many of these changes occur naturally over time, but human debris accelerates and directs the transformation. This season's recovery efforts were documented by the U.S. Geological Survey and widely reported. Crews pulled thousands of items from Yellowstone's hydrothermal vents. The scope was truly astonishing.
Among the strange and touching finds are Birkenstock sandals, pizza boxes with pizza slices still inside, fake designer bucket hats, stuffed koalas, and, ironically, a Polaroid photo of the Excelsior geyser taken from the Excelsior crater itself. Biologists and park rangers have also cataloged less photogenic but equally dangerous items, coins, batteries, and food waste. Removing debris from the near boiling water is dangerous work and requires specialized skills. Park rangers travel great distances to reach and clean affected features. Because rangers cannot simply enter many of the hot springs, they use unusual equipment. Nine-meter-long reach poles, special slotted spoons that resemble large serving spoons, and other long-handled devices designed to retrieve objects without injuring personnel or damaging fragile rock formations. This work requires careful coordination with geologists and park managers to avoid disrupting natural processes while removing hazardous objects. Come on, Steamboat! Come on, Steamboat! Come on. 